hello beauties welcome to my channel today we are working on a pencil wrap skirt i'm about to cut it so i decided to do a video on it so we'll be working on a wrap skirt a pencil wrap skirt a long one for that matter i'm going to cut out from the bulk of the fabric so that it can remain in focus before we start our drafting so guys i've cut out from the bulk of the fabric as you can see the skirt length is 46 plus two inches one and a half inch for the hemming allowance the half inch for the seam allowance then the width is um, 48 inches on, uh, 24 on the full that's 48 inches guys the hip i'm working with is 43 inches plus one and a half inch is allowance waist i'm working with is 36 inches i've divided it by four which is nine inches plus one inch that's allowance for waist to hip i'm using the average of nine inches on top of your waist to knee you'll be able to get your waist to hip especially when you are working with an outside client that you are not seeing to measure from your waist to knee you can get your waist to hip on top of it okay so guys let's get working the total hip and the ease allowance and the seam allowance is 12 and a half inches which is 12 six eight of an inch don't let me put it as 12 and a half 12 six eight of an inch so the wrap that we are going to have like you can see from the diagram is falling exactly at our dart line so that means we are going to use our span measurements so which is the the bus span rather so if you're using the boss one, this boss one of this client is nine inches. So that's what I am using. So it depends on you. It can fall exactly at the dart line or it falls away from it. Two inches away from it or one inch, depending on what you want to achieve, guys. So now that's what exactly I have here. So let me measure it so that you guys can see it. So this is 12 six eight of an inch which i'm going to just make 12 and a half inches so i'm going to mark the 12 and a half inches out so the rest will now serve as my wrap actually i'm starting with the front so i'm going to connect it with my long ruler this rest is acting as a wrap so from here is where I'm going to start my measurement from. If you are using a band, you need to remove the band length from the length of the skirt. But in this situation, I'm making it a band length. So that's why I'm having the own length of my skirt. Okay. My waist to hip that I'm using is nine inches. So I'm going to mark nine and a half inches because I'm going to use half inch seam allowance. This is exactly our hip measurements, which I have done here, which I said 43 plus one and a half is allowance divided by four, which is 11 to eight of an inch plus one and a half sewing allowance. So that's 12.625. So I made it 12 and a half with the ease allowance is going to work for me. It's the waist now that I'm going to work with, which is 36 divided by four, which is nine inches plus one inch that allowance plus one and a half inch uh, seam allowance so i'm going to be having 11 and a half inches so i'm going to mark the 11 and a half inches here so i'll mark the 11 and a half here okay so i'll connect to the hip line okay so now i will just go to the length of the skirt which is here then subtract two inches from from the sides two inches just subtract two inches so you connect it this way and you mark but if i really want to make it a very pencil pencil very when i mean pencil i mean pencil all i need to do is to mark like towards the knee length let's say like 20 inches 20 inches so from here is where i'm going to remove my two inches 
and take it down. Okay, then I will connect this way. Are you seeing it, guys? So it will make it a very penciled skirt. So we are able to establish the front now, which is quite easy. You can see it, guys. So now remember, I said one and a half inches is going to serve as my hemming allowance so i'm going to fold the one and a half in now to be able to cut my skirt so guys i folded in my one and a half inch hemming allowance so the next thing is to cut my skirt right from here then to the waistline So we've been able to cut our front. You can see it's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing now is to notch. I will notch my hip. Bam. I will notch the center front. This is serving as the center front. This is the, the wrap. So I will notch this center front too. So this side is the center front of the skirt. So this is still going to wrap itself around it this way. I will get in it so now i'm going to mark my dart too to be able to establish it remember our boss span is nine inches so i'm going to mark my dart allowance okay so i will notch that point So guys the next thing is to cut for the back of the skirt i'm going to use this front to cut for the back so let me fold this off and place the material for the back then we'll cut it so guys this is the back i folded the back as you can see so i did not fold it as i folded the front because i'll be wasting some of the fabric so i folded it the amount that i needed which is I added one and a half inch zip allowance to it. Then I added one and a half inches for my butt allowance that I'm going to use for the back. So this is the front that I've just finished cutting, as you can see. Like I said, this is the, this is going to be acting as the center front. So this is the wrap that we're going to wrap on it. So what do I do now? I'm going to fold this in. You see it? Fold it in. Okay, so now we have the real pencils long skirt. So I'm going to place it on the line of the zip allowance so you guys can see. Okay, so we're using exactly the same, the same thing. okay so this is at the zip line so exactly there's seam allowance in the front already but what we need to i would have if i don't need to create a board shape i would have just cut out this then just notch my that line then notch my hip line then notch my zip area so that's all but i'm creating a board shape yeah so i'm going to from this area now from the 20 that i marked yes okay from the 20 inches i'm going to just moving by one inch from the zip allowance so this is the hip line okay so i'm going to now move from here now i'm going to connect to this point this is my ruler okay i'm 
okay so i'm going to remove another half inch from the waistline i'm going to remove one inch from the half inch from the waistline so i'll mark it this way then i will connect towards the hip line you can make it about six inches or you can even take it to the hip line if you wish to or it can be six inches stop at six inches when you sew so by the time i want to sew now i will just take one and a half inches is what i'm going to sew like this one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half in the tie like this i'll take one and a half inches in so now this one and a half inches that i'm going to take in in here i'm going to replace it here so that by the time i open up my skirt when sewing they will be equal so this is one and a half inches okay i'm going to connect it to my hip line okay then at this point remember we remove half an inch here at this point so this half a inch here i'm going to replace it again for the back okay so i'll connect to the hip also i hope you guys are getting it so the same thing i'm going to mark down to the length of the skirt So that is it guys so I'm going to cut it out now for the back so as you can see guys like I said you want to now so you sew one and a half you move at your hand in you move your sewing machine your foot of your machine you move it in and sew it from here like this one and half one and half one and half one and half which we have replaced on this line okay guys so we've cut it out the next thing now i'm going to cut out the lining you notch make sure you notch notching is very necessary notching 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 there's nothing like notching man sometimes some of these clothes can give you confusion so notching matters a lot notching matters a lot that's the only savior to get your sewing right so finish cutting the next thing is to cut out the lining remember that our lining will be one and a half inch lesser than the main fabric so guys the next thing i did was to cut out my lining as you can see one and a half inches lesser than the main fabric so i'm going to turn the lining because i'm using the lining to turn the side the side seams i'm not going to interlock it so pick one place on the main fabric so by half an inch top stitch then you top turn it to the side seam and sew up the side seam and the side zip then you turn it again and top stitch no interlocking so guys the lining has been sewn to the skirt front as you can see this is the front which has been sewn and i've top stitched the side and i've ironed the grease line out so this is where we drafted our skirt from and this is the extra for our wrap skirt so now what do we do to get our wrap you just unfold unfold this and make sure all the grease these two grease line everything and the center front must meet on this line i hope you guys are getting me this grease line we started our drafting from and the center from they must meet on this line to create our center front they must be on the center front to create our wrap so i'm going to unfold it now bring it out like this then i'm going to bring this to this line they unfold this one to be on this line so let's take it this way so we'll take the center front to be on that line as you can see this is the center front okay to be on the grease line you can see the grease line so center front has been ironed through so it's on the grease line then we'll take the other one and take it to be on the grease line again the grease line on the grease line <laughs> so the three grease line must meet up one two three we must meet up i hope you guys can see it. one 
two and the third one so that is how to fold your wrap skirts wrap pencil skirts this is how to fold it so we have gotten our folding so our darts we are going to sew our dart now this is the dart point which i have notched so i'm going to sew my darts then i'm going to top stitch it from down from the inner one like this like 13 because i don't want the stitches to show on the main fabric so i'm going to after sewing the dart i'm going to stitch it inside up to 10 to 13 inches depending on you where you want it to stop but i'm going to stitch mine to 13 inches then i'm going to unfold remember that there is supposed to be darts and that here so but the darts of this one i'm going to extend it towards this wrap so that you just be on this to get the main skirt waist that i added that i used to get my main skirt waist so for the back i've done the same thing i've sewn it with the lining and i've top stitch every side seam then i'm going to use my invisible zip then i will sew my darts before placing on the front and sewing it so let me sew it guys and i will show you how i made it the darts of the front has been sewn one side like i said so the next thing i'm going to do now is to open it up exactly at the dart line i'm going to stitch 13 inches down you can also stitch this way but i don't want my stitches to show on the front of the fabric so i'm going to bring it inside then i'll sew 13 inches and open it up like this then for the back my zip has been sewn front is fully stitched as you can see I see nothing it's fully stitched you can see the back just the darts and the stitches that we made which is 13 inches the next thing to do to stitch the back and front together you first pull this one pull it up by half inch to three quarter of an inch just to make sure that this doesn't come out when you are walking so you pull it up then you sew i'll go and stitch it now after stitching i'm going to trim the front the waistline the front waistline a little bit before i will stitch the back onto it So the next thing we stitch the side seam so guys our skirt is almost ready we are left with the waistband now so i've cut my elastic this is one inch by six inches then my band is three inches by 40 but i will still cut out from it i love to add extra because before it goes around the waist you might have shortage shortage if you cut it exactly so i cut 41 inches so i'm going to add elastic to the waist to tighten up the waistline add it this way then you pull you just sew it at this seam line then you pull this way pull this way then you stitch stitch before you put your band to turn it remember i said it's a bandless so i'm done with the skirt guys as you can see the band has been fixed the band has been fixed everything is done you can see the wrap this skirt was trending about some years ago but now it's on the cooler <laughs> it's on the cooler it was trending one time like this in Nigeria about some years ago so we are done with our wrap skirts like i said you can pencil it more thank you guys i will see you in my next one i love you guys you always remember to share love guys i'll see you bye